A Richmond company is hard at work at Ground Zero in New York City, and as Mark Hubbard explains, their efforts will make travel easier for tourists and workers headed to the Big Apple. The Twin Towers are gone, but the World Trade Center subway station below Ground Zero is about to reopen. It's taken two years to repair the mile-long tunnel that runs from the financial district under the Hudson River to New Jersey. For commuters who must now go the long way around or take a ferry over the river, it's a major step in returning the Big Apple to some sort of normalcy. And the final piece of the project, installing the radio communications for train conductors, police, and maintenance crews, is being done by a Richmond company, Radio Communications of Virginia. We'll be extremely proud that, that the, the trains will be receiving on equipment that we, um, that we designed and, and installed. The project's a tricky one. The Twin Towers used to block radio interference in the area. The five Richmond workers on the job had to deal with the now open space above ground. Deep in the bowels of the subway system, they're piecing together the network designed by Junie Gillen. Everything has to be exactly perfect for it to sound um, good. So that's, that's the probably the biggest challenge. Richmond workers who have been down under ground zero for the installation process say there is an eerie feeling down there. This project does have a special purpose for them. Uh, it, just, it just really makes it hit home. I mean, you, it, it really affected me when it happened. Um, but to see it, <clears throat> to look in the hole and, and see where they used to be, just gives me chills up my back, chills up my spine. The biggest impact for me was when we went into the main control room and they, they had a flag draped over the controls, you know, that control the trains that once ran under the World Trade Center. American flags are common around the site, and what can be more American than the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? A goal has been to reopen the subway station before this year's parade. It looks like they'll make it with only four days to spare. But at the end of each day in New York, the subway project will be a sign of a city getting back on its feet after a terrible tragedy. Mark Hubbard, NBC 12 in New York. The radio installation is a half million dollar project. The Richmond Company was selected because of its reputation in the industry for troubleshooting difficult situations.